Hi you guys, welcome back to Wallington Filming. Now, you know, my channel's getting quite popular now, but uh, I, tell the, I tell you how it is on site and working for bosses, etc. You know, try, try and tell you the, the straight truth in these videos, which uh, a lot of people um, respect. Um, so I'm doing a, a video today. First of all, I'd just like to uh, say a big thank you to uh, Ross Woodburn for sponsoring this video. And the product is bubble bags. That's right, bubble bags, inflatable bags. Um, if you find at the end of this video you fancy buying a few, just click on the uh, link in the description below and take you straight to his website. It's basically an alternative to storing your paintbrushes. Uh, and as you see in this scuttle, I've got like half a dozen in here that, uh, uh, that I've put in these bubble bags. There you go. Inflatable, as I say. And um, stops your brushes going hard, which is a bonus, I mean. Um, here's one I've got. I used this earlier today in brown to do some meter boxes on a plot. You can get all different sizes of these bags for storing your brushes in. Or if you want to post something uh, fragile, you know, like a mobile phone or something, you know, you can actually put, uh, you know, a mobile phone and then chuck it out the window. Look. Look. Job done, eh? <laughs> you know what I mean? And that's got the brush in it, but if it had a mobile phone in it, it'd be all right, wouldn't it? Uh, so yeah, there, there you go, what I've got there, look, got all different sizes in here, there's, there's a small one there, three inch brush that I've used in satin finish, yeah, you've even got like, just, just a cutting in finch on that one, pretty good. Right, so, <clears throat> let me show you how you go about uh, put your, your brushes in one of these and thing in it. So first of all, you've got to cut, cut the top off that lip, yeah? So you can get your straw in it. So cut the top off that lip. Get your straw in there, push it down. You'll see when you get so far, it, the, the, that tube there goes so far in the bag, you just get your, your straw certain way past it. Put your brush in, like that. I, I just hold it up off the bottom of the bag to be fair. And then, pull your straw out when you've uh, inflated it, because if you leave it in, the air tends to come out, so, you know. And the more, more air you can push in there, the more sealed it's going to get. But yeah, there you go, look. Brush in there. And they, they are quite, they, they do seal up around the brush quite, quite well, to be fair. And then when you want to release, when you, well, when you want to get your brush out, just push the straw in. Just give it a bit of squeeze, and there you go. Get your brush back out. So yeah. Bubble bags. Check them out. Quite good actually. Not not bad. The only thing I I would say that could be improved slightly on these is that bit where you push your straw in. You know, just just getting it open sometimes is a little bit you know a bit difficult to get your straw in. And if you're going to keep checking it, uh, putting your brush in, checking it out, etc. You know, so I probably could do some sort of like gripping. Some sort of grip on there so you can just open that flap up a bit but there there you go yeah bubble bags quite a good alternative for uh, storing your brushes for whatever length of time uh this one i've got here i was just using this brush at home i've had this in here for over a week so you know let's see if it's gone on shall we um, got a release here just put the straw in, release it, but there you go, look, still soft, 
And I've had this brush in here for a week and it's still okay. Do you know what I mean? That's just a... Uh, I mean, the good thing about these particular bags is like, you know, maybe you just like do it yourself and just use your brush. Uh, so you can put it in one of these bags and it, 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 it'll stay, should stay uh, usable for, for quite a while. Um, I don't know how long you can keep it in, the, in these bags for, but that's been there for a week. And you know what some people are like, they put it in the water, don't they? If you do, you know, just doing your own decorating at home. Put it in the water, summer comes, water evaporates, and um, your brush goes hard, doesn't it? So, be interesting to see if someone's used one of these for more than a week, and just, just to see how long long it lasts. So, yeah, quite interesting. I'd say, you know, I've got three inch brush in there, Fitch, coloured brush, quite good for coloured brushes. Uh, emulsion brush in there, you know what I mean? And they're, they're easy to access as well, just whack that straw down, job done, and it, off you go. And like I say, that one's been in there for a week, so yeah. Bubble bags, alternative to storing your brushes. So if you like the content of this video, don't forget to... Until next time, for all the candleman, catch you. Since I've been on this new phone, I've not even used any oil bags yet. They just keep sending me Aki out, which is like, you know, absolutely brilliant. And I have heard, whether it's a rumour or not, I don't know, but I have heard they're bringing this stuff out. Mm -hmm.